buying a home in a seller's market? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today, I'm gonna to discuss how to buy a home in a seller's market. If you decided to buy a home this year, I give you praises, especially with everything going on, but I also want to wish you luck. There's a lot going on right now and things could change right now. It's just a very hot market here in Las Vegas. And again, with the C word that's happening right now, it could change and things could go down, but we just never know. I can only tell you what's going on right now and I can help you out on how to buy a home in a seller's market. I typically don't do these types of videos, however, um, I felt it was important, especially with what's going on right now in the world and what's going on with the Las Vegas real estate market. The big challenge for you is finding a home that you like, and especially with the very little inventory, if you do find a home that you like, you better believe that home, someone else likes that one too. And there's gonna be probably multiple offers. So the goal of this video is just to go over how you can survive this and how you can make a great offer in this crazy seller's market. If you want to buy a home in this crazy market, there are nine strategic steps that I'm going to go over today. And number one is move quickly once you find the house that you want. Meaning if it was listed within hours, get your agent out there and go see that house right away. Because someone that saw it today will be putting an offer in it today. Uh, you want to be the first one to put an offer and you want to put in a good offer. So the point is we're going to go over all the strategic ways that you can win out on the house that you want. Number two, when you're looking at houses, don't make snap judgments on the listing photos. Oftentimes these realtors do not use professional photographers. So the photos may not really depict how nice the home really is. Get a list of homes that check off your boxes and then go look at it in person because oftentimes the pictures just aren't that good and you really may really like that home. Number three, be realistic about inspections and repairs. And what I mean is when a home inspector inspects the home, he's gonna check out every nook and cranny of the home, every crack, the heating, electrical, plumbing, but you as a buyer need to assess what is important to you. The most important thing is what um, is defective, what is really bad, and one is a safety issue. All the other little piddly stuff, don't request that, you know, because you can have, hire a handyman come in after you move and um, have him fix all that stuff. I did that when I bought my house. Um, unfortunately, you know, that's just the things you do if you really want that house. And number four, start with your best offer up front. You know, in previous videos I said that I was able to get deals for my clients, like um, negotiate down in price and have the sellers pay for all the closing costs. However, that's not the case right now. Um, with the homes being, with very little inventory and the homes selling fast, you wanna make sure that your offer is very clean and not asking for a lot of concessions from the seller. And number five, don't buy a house that you don't love. A lot of times buyers will compromise um, and just buy the, the house that they are okay with, but you'll regret it. You'll hate me later in the end. You wanna make sure, yes, we have time, and yes, you need to move, but if you don't love that house, don't buy it. I, I highly recommend do not buy it because you will have buyer's remorse. You'll regret it, you'll become jaded, and it's just not what I want for you. Number six, write a personal letter to the seller. Sometimes that helps, especially if you're a family and you have three kids and you just relocated here because of the military. Sometimes writing, ugh, stupid dogs. Sometimes writing a soppy letter helps. You never know, Does, you know, the more things you could do to get that house, you never know. Number seven is make a big earnest money deposit. And what is an earnest money deposit? Basically, it's just putting a hold, some money down to hold the house to let the sellers know that you're serious about buying the house. Typically, depending on price, it could be anywhere from 2,000, 2,500, 5,000, 10,000, whatever the price may be, double that um, to let the sellers know that you're really serious about this home. And number eight, 
maybe make a backup offer. If the seller already accepted another offer and it's already under contract, or you know you were in a multiple offer situation and they accepted a different offer, um, I would let the agent know, me, I would let them know for you, that you would like to be considered as a backup offer, just in case something falls through with the other buyer's financing or whatever it may be. Um, it's always good to um, put yourself out there as a backup offer. And number nine is consider waiving or shortening the contingencies. What I mean by contingencies is, I've done videos on all of this. I mean, they're a couple years old, but they still hold true. There's several different contingencies in a contract. There's one where the due diligence is 12 days typically. You can shorten that to 10 days. Um, the appraisal contingency typically is 21 days. You can shorten that to 15 days um, to make things go smoother. And also maybe have a shorter closing date. Typically we close within 30 days, maybe close in three weeks, maybe close in 20 days if you have a lender that can do that. And basically that's it. You need an agent that knows how to negotiate for you and negotiate the right time. I've been working with several buyers, many deals under contract. I know how to negotiate. And if you really want that house, then there are several ways that we can try to get that house for you, especially in this crazy market right now. Leave comments down below about your experiences buying a home. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel, uh, share with a friend, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one.